Hi gorgeous! In today's video I'm sharing a review, swatches, and look with you using the new Lorac Pro 3 palette. So first I'll let you know what I think about it, and at the end of the video I'll show you a way that you can wear it. Okay, first off, there are 16 eyeshadows in this palette, and yes, I'm right <laughs> this time. If you caught the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette review that I did, then you caught the inside joke there. I accidentally said there were 16 when there were really 14. Wishful thinking? I don't know, but there are actually 16 eyeshadows in the Lorac Pro 3. Top row has eight matte finish eyeshadows, and the bottom row has eight shimmer finish eyeshadows. Exact layout as the Lorac Pro 1 and 2 palettes have. Unlike those palettes, though, something's off with this palette. I was really disappointed in this one. The pigmentation is not there, and the eyeshadows get lost in translation from the pan to your eyes, and they don't look anywhere near like they should my personal opinion. If you want them to look like they look in the pan, you have to apply them wet, and even that doesn't help them throughout the day. These do fade, they tend to look muddy, the eyeshadows run together, and it looks like a big old mess by the end of the day. So I was really disappointed to see that with this palette. And additionally, with Lorac Pro 1 and 2 palettes, the eyeshadows are really buttery, easy to apply, easy to blend. The Lorac Pro 3 palette, the eyeshadows are more powdery. They're not buttery, and they take a little more effort to apply them onto the eyes. They do blend really nicely, but the pigmentation is just not there, so it makes it harder to work with. And I would compare the pigmentation in this one to the IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette if you ever experienced that one. But by the same token, there were a lot of people when I made my review on the IT Cosmetics palette who said they really liked the lack of pigmentation, and it was great for beginners because it allowed them to blend the eyeshadows very easily. And I could see that. So if that describes you, then this palette may be the right fit for you. However, for me personally, I like a lot of pigmentation. I want to see that eyeshadow from here to here like it looks. And it just didn't happen for me with this palette. So very disappointed by this one. I do not recommend it, unfortunately. I'm really bummed because I love Lorac Pro 1 and 2 palettes. So somewhere they missed the boat on this one. Let me know your thoughts on it if you did pick it up, and if you have a different opinion than mine, of course you're always welcome to share it below. If you did pick it up and you do like it, that's wonderful, and I do have a pretty nice look that you can recreate with it that I'll show you here. First eyeshadow I'm taking out of the gate is Terracotta, applying this into the crease. This is going to be more of a transition shade in the look more than anything else. It's going to help everything blend together. Then I'm taking clay and I'm using this to deepen the crease and add a little bit more definition to the eyes. And with the shade dark brown, we're going a little bit more dramatic here. I'm applying this into the outer V of the eye and blending it up into the outer crease. And if you happen to get a little bit of this on the outer third of the eye, that's okay too. Make it up as you go along. For the lid, I'm using Almond Pearl, but you don't have to use that shade from this palette. You can use any of the other lighter shades in here if you want to mix it up a little bit. Light Pewter, Light Gold, Pink Nude, Canvas, any one of those looks great here too. Finally, I'm taking Dark Mocha and applying this onto the outer half of the lid. And you can see what I mean here. It looks nothing like it looked in the pan on my eyes, and it's really hard to get it to even apply onto the lid. Where's the color? But anyway, I'm going back with a blending shade to finish things off and making sure all the edges are blended softly. Lining the eyes with a brown liquid eyeliner. This is the one from Eve Pearl. Love it because it does not move. And my lashes are I Do from InkyMinky.com. I also added a nude eyeliner onto the waterline and a little bit of clay on the lower lash line. Hope you enjoyed today's look. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.